Hello everyone, it's kind of rainy today, but that's all right, we're inside. Anyway, this here is a Kenroy Model A1 in the finished color of brown. And uh, it hangs close to my workbench here in the garage. Um, it's a pretty good fan. I don't have the original control for it. In fact, I don't know what these would have came with. I would think that these would have came with like a choke style control, like transformer based, probably four speed or something like that. Um, but I don't have that. Here's my control setup. You know, wire goes up the fan, goes into this box. You see, I got a nice shiny wall plate on there. It's actually a metal box screwed into the pegboard here. And I, I, there's a piece of, um, uh, one by two back there, I think. And, uh, just goes on the short little plug into the, um, search master. Now this fan's kind of uh, special to me because it's kind of what got me into uh, collecting ceiling fans. This and the 52 inch antique brass silicon, which I don't think I've made a video on yet. They were pretty much the two ceiling fans I first bought. Um, I actually remember the conversation I had with a guy, he was pretty cool. Uh, I believe he said, uh, well, now looking back, it wasn't the nicest thing to say, but it was, it's kind of funny. He said the insurance company didn't think he'd uh, last another five years, so he's trying to get rid of stuff. Whatever. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite fans I have. I've seen, actually seen another one of these out in the wild at a church we've gone to. And I don't remember what control it was on, but it was certainly an interesting install. It was directly installed on a beam at an angle. And um, if I remember correctly, pretty much all the wood matched, including the blades. It was the same it's thing finished, just this brown. I have put a light kit on this at one point because there is a spot for it, but I honestly just like this fan better without a light kit. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on to testing it out. So here's low on this speed control. It gives a decent low. I apologize for it being a little dusty. That's just kind of how it gets in the garage. One other thing I will mention for those of you who notice, yes, the blades are shipped up at the ends and no, they were not like that when I bought it. The reason that the blades are all chipped up is because the fan that was originally here was slightly smaller. It was a Hunter original or Hunter Old Time. However, the garage door was manually opened into it um, and the blades broke off. So, I put this up. Well, this is a 52 inch fan, but it's slightly larger than the 52 inch fan, I suppose. So, my mom opened the attic door into it. I don't know why. She opened the door while the fan was on, and she accidentally ch chipped up the blades. Um, it's probably repairable at some point. Maybe I'll take it down and, you know, put some wood filler on it. But at this point in time, it's just a garage fan, so it's all right. All right, we're on medium now. You can already start to feel a pretty good breeze off of this. All right, now high. And it gets going. This is another reason why I have this fan here because it is a pretty damn good air mover. I mean, it flies. All right, we'll head to off. No reverse, of course.
And this is also a pretty heavy fan. It's got a cast motor on it. Interestingly enough, I can't find hardly any information on this fan online. So I don't know if there were many of these produced or what that's all about. But I certainly just find that interesting. Because I've seen, like I said, I've seen another one before out in the wild, but it just seems like I can't find anything online about them. The only ones I find are later spinners. And then, of course, the Kenroy Hunter original copy. But that's about it. As you can see, the bearings are pretty good. And uh, that clunk, clunk, clunk noise whenever the fan starts up on high is something within the lower canopy with how the down rod is attached to the motor. Um, it self loosens over time. I, I probably need to put a lock washer on it, but it doesn't, it, it like only loosens so much and then it's not, it doesn't come apart. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.